Ani, I would like to welcome you today to the Medicine Wheel Balance app, complimentary component to the Anishinaabe Gi, the Children's Health and Wellbeing Measure, ACHWM. My name is Marnie Anderson, and a little bit about me is I'm Anishinaabe Kwe from Wanapate First Nation, and I've been working for Nancy Young and Mary Jo Wabano on the ACHWM for the last four years, showing communities on how to use this measure in their context. Before I begin the presentation, I just want to acknowledge that I'm in Sudbury, Ontario, which is the traditional territory of the Atikamishing and Anishinaabek, as well as I am in the Robinson Huron Treaty territory. As well as I have nothing to disclose. So I'd like to start by first acknowledging the creators of the ACHWM, Mary Jo Wabano, Nancy Young, Diane Jacko, and Stephen Ritchie for all the hard work they've put in the last 10 years to get the ACHWM where it is today. I'm gonna to touch a little bit on the background, but I'm gonna really talk about how the complimentary uh, balance app came to be. So first, what is the ACHWM measure? It's a tablet-based health and well-being survey that was designed with and for Indigenous children, specifically between the ages of 8 and 18 years old. And it's to help us understand their perspective on their health and well-being. Who can use it? Indigenous communities, health centres, schools, youth centres, non-for-profit organisations, Indigenous organisations, as well as child and well-being agencies. So the, the ACHWM itself was created through a photo voice and a holistic health uh, focus group. The children in Wakamakam participated in focus groups over a period of a few days and they took pictures of what health and well-being meant to them. Then they took those pictures and they placed it in the area that they felt it most related, whether it be spiritual, emotional, physical or mental. If a question would felt like it was a physical question, they would go and put it within that quadrant. And what that did was that that organized the first 58 questions that were developed with the ACHWM. And then they were able to go to other communities to see if these questions were, were relatable and consistently understood uh, beyond the children in Wakamakong. And so today we've achieved a stable and consistently un understood version and you can see some of our articles on our website on how we did that. But it's based within a tablet and we've created an app so that there's an algorithm involved that develops scores for each of the spiritual, mental, physical and emotional quadrants. So the survey itself with some a little extra additions came to be a 62 item questionnaire that's based within the tablet as well as it has three open ended questions that are extra on top of it. We have multiple versions, so First Nation, Inuit, Métis, English, French, Standard, also in CARE, but they all have the same base questions, which there is 24 emotional, 13 physical, 9 mental, and 16 spiritual. And uh, with these questions, uh, the children answer within a tablet, and when that tablet is complete, it then develops a score that you can review and uh, see following that child finishing the survey. So here's the process. The child completes the ACHWM and it will take them maybe between 10 and 15 minutes uh, to complete that. Once it's finished, it'll be prompted with a thank you where they'll pass the tablet on to the mental health worker or helper and that person will put in their pin to then show the report and scores of that survey. The report will show a summary score of all four quadrants. It'll also show a breakdown each of the four quadrant scores as well as provide some additional information uh, regarding the survey itself. What we were finding is that when we were delivering the survey, children were really curious as to what their results were and, were and what we recognized is that a visual component was needed to help show children their results. We wanted to show something that wasn't numerical, but more of a visual format. So the scores for the four quadrants of health, emotional, emotional, physical, mental, and spiritual is what we use the ba uh, as a base uh, for those visual results that are needed. We the creative design that was able to facilitate sharing of those results in a way that would resonate with children, but as well as the mental health workers working with them. 
and also support a strengths-based conversation with local mental health staff. So this is what we needed, is something that was complementary to the ACHWM. Together with a developer, Paul Pomerlo, a new application was created to incorporate the four health concepts, celebrate those individual strengths, and foster further discussion for growth towards Minabomodzwin, which is living the good life. The ACH Balance app was created. And what we did was we made it a complementary app. So we made it a separate app for people if they wanted to use it, they could. And this was really to help talk about balance of your health and that everything is connected and further enhance that experience with the child uh, and by enabling more of a holistic conversation by focusing on uh, their wellness uh, over illness. So it was a very simple app. It looked really similar to our ACHWM app, but what it did was it really just incorporated those scores, hid the numbers and showed us a visual. And here's a little example. So on the top right, you'll see the ACHWM scores that were gathered from the ACHWM survey. What we do is we take those scores and we put them in the according spot, the spiritual, emotional, physical, and mental. And then we click on um, a button so that it hides all those numbers and it shows us just a visual. And if you notice the black circle around that medicine wheel is what makes that black wheel is 100%. So depending on where each of those quadrants lie will depend on their score, but it'll show you a balance of their health. And this is where we can talk about their strengths, uh, how, where they're doing well in. And in this particular example, you could very obviously see that the child is really strong spiritually and physically, and there might be some uh, ideas and opportunities that the child has to grow in the other areas as well. So communication through technology is really important. Children love the technology and they love being able to see results instantly. They've been more inclined to share their experiences through the tablet. And what this does is it enables clinicians to identify key issues quickly and build a rapport with their clients efficiently and quick. Being able to show them their, their health um, in, a, in a form that resonates with them really improves the conversation following the ACHWM survey. So it's, it's able to provide a local health staff the opportunity to visually display the ACHWM scores in a unique manner that resonated with those youth. The Balance app helps children understand their own health assessment. So what it really does is that it has that timely response to children's need when they're telling their story and we're telling them, you know what, this is what we see, this is what we're hearing, how can we work together to help improve your health and well-being? And what we also noticed is that we could provide a little bit more resources for mental health workers as well, so that they can help guide those conversations around what those scores mean. So if you get a high score in physical health, what questions a part of the ACHWM fed to that score? And, and how do you wanna bring about those conversations with that child? And so what this does is it opens up a lot of opportunities for discussion and a lot of opportunities to talk about things that may have not have come up uh, without the ACHWM. So it really makes it a catalyst for conversations. Celebrating the strengths is one of our most important goals with the ACHWM. And this visual of the ACHWM results uh, helps support local staff in identifying their strengths and working achieving that balance that the children need. Um, and this might change um, on a month to month basis. And so we found that some of our health workers have used this on a quarterly year cycle so that they can check in on how balanced their, the, the youth is at certain times of the year. And it really helps show the children uh, what it means when they take the survey and and so they're not left out hanging, you know, what did I get? What were my results? How come, how come I can't see? And, and really showing them in a visual form what that means and what it means to their health. One of the most exciting things that we have upcoming for our Balance app is that we're going to be integrating it into our new ACHWM app. Before those were separated and you had to go back and forth between them, but now they're together on one app and you're able to easily go back and forth from that app to that or from that balance app to that survey. 
as well as we're looking into uh, changing the colors a little bit of the balance app because we realize that uh, the, the colors of the medicine wheel can change throughout Anishinaabe territory as well as even uh, throughout all of Canada, not everybody uses that medicine wheel and those teachings. But we really want to still show children a visual. So we're going to still use the circle, but we're going to try and change some of the colors so that it, it has some um, resonance with children across Canada. And to wrap up, I just want to say chimi gets to the many children and youth who shared their vision of health with us during this project to the elders uh, for their devotion to the ACHWM, Health Services Committee, Chief and Council for all of their ongoing support with the ACHWM because it wasn't, if it wasn't for that sport, for that survey, the Balance app wouldn't uh, be where it is today showing the children those results. And again, thank you to all the advisory committee for their wisdom and guidance throughout this whole project. And I'd like to just uh, finally say uh, thank you and miigwech.